everyone, welcome to Hot Girl Summer. Today I am going to undergo a little bit of a hot girl summer transformation because you know what I'm talking about, it's that time of the year. We need to look like baddies. No, we are baddies, but I'm gonna make myself even more of a baddie, a summer baddie, a different kind of baddie, you know what I'm talking about? So even though I have a boyfriend, it's still gonna be hot girl summer for me, maybe hot girlfriend summer. So I'm gonna get ready with you guys today, take you guys with me through the whole process. I'm really excited. Before we get into our hot girl summer transformation, I wanna say a quick thank you to Hairburst because they actually sponsored a part of this video and I'm gonna talk about that right now. Now, six weeks ago, I started using this product from Hairburst, which is the Lash and Brow Enhancer. And this product will give you longer, luscious, healthier, thicker, amazing looking lashes and brows. So I've been using this product for the past six weeks. And let me tell you, girl, let me tell you that this product literally changed my lash game for me, as you guys can see, you can literally see my lashes now, which is amazing. I applied the enhancer for six weeks every single day before I went to bed. You literally just take the brush, it's kind of like a mascara wand, and you just run them through your lashes like this and just brush through your brows like this. So yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past six weeks. And let me show you guys the results because I'm shocked. I also just want to add that the ingredients in this are great. It is, of course, safe to use around the eyes. And the ingredients in this are actually made from 98% natural ingredients and peptides and of course their formula is 100% vegan and cruelty free. Let me clip my hair back as always. For primer I'm using the Revolution Pro Blur Stick Plus. This stick will literally blur your face like it literally face tunes your face. You just put it on like this. Oh it smells great too. And then I just kind of blend this in with my fingers. This foundation, you guys, I recently discovered this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Let me tell you, I'm usually more of a light coverage kind of girl, but I tried this foundation. It is full coverage, full, full, full coverage. I'm normally not about full coverage, but the way that this made my face look, I'm in the shade seven. I just put some on my cheek right there. Just watch this and see what happens, okay? Do you guys see this? It looks flawless. I even used this foundation and then I just didn't put concealer over it because I just didn't need it. Even underneath my eyes, like I just added an, like an extra little bit of foundation underneath my eyes and it looked so great. For cream contour today, I'm gonna go in with the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm. It looks like this. It's kind of orange, but I'm gonna go light. So just trust the process, okay? gonna go in with my stippling brush and just adding some onto my cheeks and onto my forehead of course because we're gonna make a forehead out of this five head i'm gonna use this blush today it looks really interesting um i'm pretty sure it's gonna be too light but i'm still gonna use it it's from iconic london it's in the color cheeky coral so this is kind of like a corally blush i'm just gonna go for it and apply some on my cheeks i'm not sure if it'll even show up Okay, that still kind of gives me a little hint of color, just like a subtle, just a subtle blush, you know what I mean? Now let's use some concealer and cover up these under eye bags because they are real today. I woke up at 5.30, um, don't ask me why, I'm crazy for some reason. I'm super energized at 5.30 in the morning. I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend this in. For my powder, I'm just using a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Okay, I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes. I'm literally gonna be sweating this makeup off once I step outside because it's 30 degrees today. So I don't really know what I'm thinking putting on a full coverage foundation and like a full face of makeup. 
but that's what I'm doing. I feel like doing a little bit more blush because that iconic London didn't really show up. I'm gonna take some of this e.l.f. Always Cheery Primed Primer Infused Blush and just put it on my cheeks. That is what I'm talking about. Love that blush for me. I'm just gonna do a quick spritz of Urban Decay All Nighter just to kind of make it not as powdery, you know what I mean? Ugh. Our base is looking flawless today. Okay, let's move on to eyeshadow. I will be using this palette, the the Lime Crime Venus XL number no. two palette. Looks like this, very pretty, very me. Do y'all see these green shades in here? I think we need to use them today. I'm first gonna go in with a little bit of this color right here. It's called Ripe. It's a beautiful brown shade. I'm just gonna pop this into our crease. You guys know that your girl always has to have a brown crease color. I just cannot go without my brown crease color. I just need to have it in my life because it makes your eyeshadow look 20 times better no matter what look you're doing. I'm gonna take a little bit of Phoenix, which is this color right here. It's kind of the same as the matte brown that we just used, but it has glitter in it. So I'm just gonna put that on top for a little bit of shimmer. Now this is the fun part. I'm gonna go in, well I'm first gonna go in with this cream gel liner from Colourpop. It's a white eyeliner and I'm gonna put this in my inner corner because we are going to go over with an eyeshadow color and I want it to be more vibrant. So I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner first. So I'm just gonna kind of like this and also a little bit right here, like take it down. I think that's good. So then now I am going to go into the color Obscure, which is this beautiful bright green shade right here. And I'm going to take it on a tiny brush and I'm going to put it on that white eyeliner. Eyeliner. Eyeliner that we just put on. Oh my gosh. I am living for this. That looks sick. I didn't know that it was going to be this pigmented, but I'm living for it. Okay, I'm going to go in with another green color. This one's Ivy, and I'm going to put it on because it's a little bit more shimmery and more green because now it kind of looks like it's just white, kind of, like not really, but a little bit. So, and just put her on. That part's done. I'm now gonna go in with a dark brown eyeshadow. I'm just using this random color pop palette and I'm gonna line my lower lash line because I wanna make the look a little bit darker and more extreme kind of, more smoky. You know what I'm talking about? And of course, I'm gonna line my upper lash line as well. Basically doing my eyeliner with eyeshadow. Going for a wing today. You guys, I'm sweating. It's so freaking hot in my room. Like I'm not over exaggerating and I can't open the window because then you'll hear a bunch of shit outside. It's time for lashes and you guys already know I'm about to use lashes for my own lash brand, GGB Beauty. We are 100% vegan and cruelty free in sustainable packaging. So I'm gonna use Days today and it looks like this. They're so freaking pretty. These lashes are honestly bomb. You guys will see them when I put them on. You're gonna be like, <gasps> lashes are on you guys. Look at this. It just makes the whole freaking eye look. I'm obsessed, okay? I still need to do highlighter. So I'm just gonna Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo and I'm just gonna pop some onto my cheekbones. For my lips, I'm using Peaches and Cream Praline Lip Liner. And then finishing off with this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Gloss in the color Blushed Gold. I 
I feel like doing my hair but not something complicated like just something easy that's gonna look good so I'm gonna use a little bit of this um, Beauty Works anti frizz serum because I feel like my hair is kind of a little bit frizzy like here on the sides so I'm just gonna run that run that <laughs> run that through run that through my hair I'm gonna use the Beauty Works Molly Me curl thingy like curler and I'm just gonna do a few curls in my hair I normally start from the back but I'm gonna start from the front this time I'm just gonna wrap it around and I'm gonna leave about this much out like hanging out because i like how that looks and i'm just gonna do loose waves kind of like this so after i've done the front pieces i'm gonna do the rest of my hair but i'm gonna do my little trick by making it a ponytail on the side of my head because this is much much faster this actually would be like a cute hairstyle, kind of like this, maybe like a little bit less on the front. I just curled this whole side and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it up with my finger like this and just give my hair the time to cool off and then I'm gonna just clip it on there and I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, I have to take this one out really quick cause I only have one clip and I need to clip this. So I'm just gonna twist and let it cool for a minute. And now I'm gonna take this side out and this is what it looks like. I really like it. It's kind of like a natural beach wave type of look. Let me come back with the other side finished. This is what my hair looks like all complete. Oh, let me put this chair higher up so you guys can see the full thing. Really love how my hair came out today. It's that natural beach wave type of look. I am just obsessed with it. I haven't curled my hair in such a long time. I feel like a brand new bit. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling myself today. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed my hot girl summer transformation. I'm freaking feeling myself, okay? Let me just say that. I love my makeup. I love my hair. I just... I'm feeling great. <laughs>